though. So this is going to be a, I feel this, this will be some long drawn out match. Both these players are kind of renowned for their abilities just to camp. And we're seeing these pellets really come out in handy. Okay. Seeing some lots of neutral from these two players. You know, winning neutral with these back airs. Doing lots of damage. And this is what I talked about. These projectiles, especially those lemons, really putting in some work right now. Stopping, snuffing out approaches. Okay, Scat just really trying to keep Snido out. Opportunity to run away, throw a projectile. Really nice stuff from Snido saving jump. But now that he has one, we're going to see any type of edge guard. Okay, Snido's going to catch him, throw him back off stage. Nothing. Right here. Oh, just running at him for some reason. Okay. Scat has been the king of just pressing advantage all day, and I wonder what we're going to see him do when he gets that chance. Okay. Just, you know, really just showing him what's happening. Good. Okay, Lemon's busting right through that defense that's, you know, been really good at setting up. I'm still gonna take that stock right now. Scat opting the beefy go up through the ledge, probably trying to air dodge past him. Okay, yeah, let's see Scat keep. Ooh, really nice up tilt to punish that. Whiff the grab from Snido. Okay. Snido you know, playing really great neutral. One of the things I love about Salt Lake game is the fact that they gave him a lot better normal, so he doesn't have to rely on spin dash nearly as much. Scat using blue shield, get out around. Pelly is the wrong way, Sino punishing him for it, keeping him off stage. He's not letting Scat play this game. Scat truly forcing his way in and out of these tough situations like he's at the ledge. Opting to reset neutral. Even though he's, it feels like he's losing it most of the time. Really scary situation, Scat. Scat always choosing the right option to recover. Not really getting stuck at this ledge too much, often bypassing it. Little trouble. But right now he's just getting stuck. Another F tilt? Okay, not gonna kill quite yet. Are we gonna see an edge guard? Okay, forward air edge guard. You know, taking that stock with 70% on him. This is gonna be a really uphill battle for Scat. the punish. Now let's see what Scat can do now that he has Sneedo at this ledge. Okay. Sneedo meeting Scat with that same type of aggressive, just really not having any problem getting off the ledge. Okay, nice back air. With the Metal Blade hand, we're not going to see any type of edge guard. Nice back air with that after ledge jump. Okay. A very interesting combo coming out from Scat. And he's even this back up and even took the lead. Took the lead by a very large margin. I guess you need to offering a dip a little go, low, go for that spin dash. Catch him on the way up and get a little combo from it. Often almost doing the same thing again, but Scat realizing it goes high. What type of recovery option we're going to see this time? Almost. Oh, really unfortunate SD there from Scat. Got really scared of that back air. Okay, I wonder if we're going to see him switch this game too. I I really think Scat Mega Man has the potential to take this game and the set if he just played a little less patient. If he like didn't opt to reset neutral so much after every situation. I feel like Snido is winning a lot of these exchanges, causing him to lose the set. But what I also really like that Scat's doing is he's getting off the ledge really easily and really often. Well both players are, but Scat's just doing it a lot more since he's doing forced those situations a lot more. And what stage are we gonna see for this game too? I think I'd love to see FD. 
Oh, it's got off from your lava. It's crying after finding finding out it's not legal here for some reason. What stage are we gonna see here? We just have it on for some stage. I guess okay, we're gonna see Smashville. Okay, very interesting choice. Probably wanting the that platform there. It's really helpful most of the time. Oh, Scat Snake! Are we gonna oh, no Snake did us, sadly. Okay. All this here, we've seen some really nice ga Snake gameplay, especially come out from these players. And I don't think they will disappoint. Now, Scat Saw obviously being a lot different from Salt Ones, opting for be a lot more campy. But utilizing those burst options like Snake's dash attack really well. Look at he's just running away with this right now. Okay, nice shot calling out his jump with those jabs. Hitting himself with those grenades, getting pushing this man, he's taking a lot of percent for it too. Okay, what are Ooh, barely missing that one. Okay. I love seeing that dash tag come out. Ooh. You know, really trying his best to get this stuck and I'm getting met with an up tilt instead. Now we're seeing Sino kind of in a corner right now, stuck between that C4 and that bomb. Getting out of it. Pushing Scat into the corner off stage. It's forcing him to recover high. Okay, Scat successfully recovers. Was that an SD? Oh, almost an SD. Sino escaping to that platform. El tilting his way out of trouble. Flying that F smash, barely reaching Scat. Oh, I guess you know didn't know that C4 was there getting hit by it, trying to camp on the platform. I feel like Sneedle's a lot more aware than Scat of positioning and things like that in most situations. Sometimes Sneedle's really putting himself on top of the C4, which besides that, I think this thing is amazing. Always trying to be on Scat while being an avoidance of those grenades. And Scat's getting hit by his own grenades some of the time. Allowing Skeeto to get some free neutral wins. Okay, I love that from Skeeto. Opting to wait out the uh, up smash and the Nikita so he wouldn't get hit by them during the throw. Ooh, really scary situation. Okay, one up tilt away, one up air. I love how he just finished through his so hit him with the homing attack on the way back. Homing attack really doing some great stuff. And we're seeing, you know, spring air dodge down to the spring so we can get up higher and he needs to spring again. Okay. You know, bringing this back. Oh! Saw Scat accidentally hitting himself with his own C4. Didn't wait for him to drop down. Okay, now Skeeto Strat pushing this advantage right now. Got the 40% extra credit. But then, you know, air dodging straight into Scat and hand that up tilt. Okay, Scat putting himself in a corner, being forced to play in between Stalk, the Sneedo, and his C4. These ledge traps looking really nice from Scat, but Nino's still finding his way around them, getting the center stage, and getting his hits in on the way too. Again, just, oh my god. Scat really needs to be more aware of where he's throwing these grenades, because he's often blown up by them. I think that's the third or fourth time it's happened in this game. Ooh, both play, this is a really close game right now. One more C4, or maybe an up tilt so he can take it. Sneedo almost killing with that back throw. What kind of edge guard are we going to see right now? Okay, Sneedo going for the F tilt. Next back throw, next F tilt will be the game. And nice back air taking it. And that is the set. Okay, now we're going to see Sneedo versus Fate 